Hi, in this video we're going to cover the fast start procedure used by us at Task Group Warrior to get the ATAM Warthog quickly ready for flight. Be aware that this method bypasses some of the built-in tests, which depending on the mission can be bad. It also presumes that the ATAM is actually capable of doing a stored heading alignment, also known as a fast align. So let's get started. Right now we're at Al Minhad Air Force Base and we want to get this aircraft up and running as quickly as possible. So, first things first, we're going to come down here, battery switch on, inverter on, APU generator on, and our APU switch down here into the on position. Monitor the APU as it starts up. Close the canopy. APU has started. Turn our screens on. Start them warming up. Start this turning on. Might as well let this run its bit test. That switch has come on. We're going to start one of our engines. Radio. Radio, radio, radar switch comes into the on position if it's not already there. Monitor that the engine's actually starting properly. And otherwise, we're waiting for this pull to up, finish going up. for its test. Altitude, altitude. Okay. INS, alter line, fast. Our engine's just started, kicking on the APU, so we can kill the APU generator, but I'm actually going to leave it on for the moment. You can also tell this to load all. That's lights gone off. Bring up the next engine. Be the master caution. Monitor this engine as it comes on and so exit down enter up cycle three nine done there. Uncage our standby compass. Check our Dismas is done. Bring this out of standby. Turn on all of our jammers. Finally bring our pitot heat on. Turn our scorpion on. Check that it's actually working. INS nav ready is done. Nav on. Any switch. Did switch on. EAC switch to the on position. EG on. APU generous rotor switch off. And APU off. Other than engaging our nose wheel steering, double checking any of our coordinates or the like in here, this bird is now ready for taxi. Thanks for watching.